Here's one of the truly weird species out there, something called the naked mole rat. If you ever have nothing to do and you've got Google image up there, go like spend the evening looking up close up pictures of naked mole rats. These are like the weirdest things out there. They're the closest things among the mammals to social insects in terms of how their colonies work. They're totally bizarre, all of that, but they live in these big cooperative colonies that are predominantly underground in Africa. And they were discovered, I think, only in the 1970s or so. And for a while, when zoologists just got together, if you were a naked mole rat person, you were just the coolest around and everybody else would feel intimidated because you were working on the best species out there. And you would see these big cooperative colonies soon shown to not necessarily be relatives and reciprocity, all those sorts of rules. But people soon began to recognize there would be one or two animals in each colony that weren't doing any work. Work digging out tunnels, bookkeeping, I don't know what naked mole rats do in terms of work, but there would be a few individuals who would just be sitting around, and there was these big old naked mole rats. They were much bigger than the other ones, and they were scarfing up food left and right. There goes Robert Axelrod down the drain. There goes all that optimization, because no one would be punishing these guys. What's the deal? And it took enough watching these animals long enough to see this notion of oh, there's another game going on in which they play a more important role, and it is sort of dribbling across. When the rainy season comes, these big naked mole rats go up and turn around, and they plug the entry to the tunnels there. <laughs> That's what they do. And suddenly, these guys who have been sitting around doing no work whatsoever all year and eating tons of stuff, they suddenly have to now stick their rear ends out for the coyotes to be around or whatever it is that predates them. What we have is role diversification. Real animals, real organisms are not just playing one formal prisoner's dilemma game against each other at the same time. 